Should wholesaling houses be illegal? We see their signs, receive their postcards and letters in our mailboxes. Sell your home for cash. No realtor commission, sell as is. And for many, these pesky spamming messages are now being texted to our mobile phones. Due to so many complaints from these people known as wholesalers, their claim to paying you fast cash for your home is being considered by some to be a predatory practice that has hovered below the state's attorney general's office's radar until now. The business of wholesaling can be deceiving to sellers, as most wholesalers never actually buy the home. They're a middleman between the seller and a buyer, whereas the seller signs a contract, a contract that many consider protects the wholesaler more than the seller. And the contract usually contains a contingency period, allowing the wholesaler the opportunity to sell the contract to someone else who actually brings the cash, usually an investor. The wholesaler makes their money by tacking on a fee that's typically paid by the buyer or shared between the buyer and the seller. Make sense? Now, the issue here is that most wholesalers are not licensed real estate professionals. Therefore, they may not consider consumer protection or fair housing laws. In fact, some wholesalers are not even familiar that there could be important disclosures that a state requires the seller to tell the buyer before selling their home. And unfortunately, a seller could actually find themselves being sued because of this at some later date. Wholesalers have been skating the licensing requirement until recently due to a major loophole in the system. Wholesalers claim that they're not actually selling real estate. The loophole is that they're only selling a contract, which guys just so happens to contain the real estate. Sound fishy to you? Hmm. You see, the profession of advertising and selling real estate requires a real estate license in all 50 states. So now the issue is should wholesalers loopholes be closed and should wholesalers be required to get a real estate license? Well, many believe so as states are throwing a wrench in an unlicensed wholesaler's outfit as states have either passed legislation or have bills on the table to ban wholesalers from operating without a real estate license. And more importantly, if you're a cash-strapped distressed seller, make sure that you hire a licensed real estate professional to represent you in the sale of your home. Because I assure you that licensed agents still can sell your home fast and in as-is condition as your state would allow. Welcome back and thanks for watching this video. We are going to discuss what happens when you attempt to sell your home through a wholesaler. Then after you hear this video, I'd like for you to comment as to whether unlicensed wholesalers should be banned in your state if not already. And in other words, should wholesalers be bound by the same laws as licensed real estate professionals? If this is your first time watching, I'm Todd Sachs, a real estate broker here in Maryland, and my channel is dedicated to keeping you informed on everything real estate. If you like it here, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit that alert bell. You'll be notified every time we upload content. And as always, please don't keep this content to yourself. Share it with your friends. The share button is below. Now, for many years, infomercials from so-called real estate gurus have been teaching and preaching the business of wholesaling homes. They entice many stating things like start a real estate wholesaling business with very little money claiming that there's little risk, big assignment commissions, and there's no need to have good credit as you're not actually borrowing any money. So many people have been attracted to this easy money business of wholesaling homes. To get their wholesaling business started, many buy these gurus programs in hopes to get rich. And after spending their cash subscribing to their gurus website, uh, their programs to gain access to homeowners private information, sometimes targeting sellers that have had public foreclosure filings, but many wholesalers drop out as it doesn't take them long to realize that there's no real fast way to make a buck. And it's actually expensive subscribing to these web programs and sending out postcards is quite costly too. However, you and I both know that this has worked for many, but I'm not here to convince you to go into the business of wholesaling real estate. On the contrary, I'm here to caution you, should you decide to have an unlicensed wholesaler become your middleman to sell your home. Now let's start with the advertisement to buy your home. 
Have you ever seen anything like these before? We buy houses, any condition, fast cash, fast closing, no realtor commissions, no strings attached, blah, blah, blah. Now, who falls for this type of marketing to sell their home? Primarily distressed homeowners, financially distressed homeowners, or actually delusional homeowners. Homeowners that may feel their specific circumstance includes lack of options for them to actually sell their home traditionally. Making these postcards or letters seem like an answer to their prayers. I can get fast cash for my situation. I'm not saying that in some cases wholesaling is a bad business. And wholesalers will argue that they are providing a much needed service for these distressed homeowners needing the quick cash. But licensed agents can do the same thing. And in my opinion, these homeowners should be calling licensed real estate agents to disclose their situation prior to making any decisions. Now, here's the personal problem that I have with most wholesalers. They're not telling you upfront in their postcards, letters, and text messages when they're claiming that they'll buy your home that they don't actually have the cash themselves to purchase your home at all. They need to find someone else, another third party that might have the cash after you sign their contract. And this is thought by many to be quite deceptive. And targeting distressed homeowners needing quick cash is thought to many to be a predatory practice. This is why real estate boards and the Department of Labor and Licensing in many states are spearheading initiatives. Presenting legislation and passing laws that require anyone selling your home or being a middleman to do so to have a real estate license. Another issue when sellers contract with unlicensed wholesalers, they may be unaware that they could actually get more money for their home. As the wholesalers profit the most guys when paying the sellers the least amount of money. And in my opinion, this is not considered representation at all. And as a licensed real estate broker, my job is to represent a seller bringing them the highest amount possible regardless of their home's condition. And I can do this in most cases just as quickly as any wholesaler. I've done it. My job also requires me to understand state and federal disclosure laws to protect sellers and the buyers to avoid legal issues down the road. Now, let's check out this Indiana news article pertaining to unlicensed wholesalers. These statements are from a licensed real estate agent. His name is Todd Cook. People are making the calls and sending text messages to promise a quick transaction that will save the homeowner money. You're not going to have to pay realtors, no commissions, all these different things to compel you to sign the offer. Cook said the real concern here is that people are being misled and getting into something that they're not aware of. And the article goes on to say, in many cases, the wholesaler convinces the homeowner to sign a purchase agreement with an offer that is typically below market value. However, the wholesaler has no intention of actually buying the home. During the time period outlined in a contract, the wholesaler is searching for someone else that will buy the home for more than they agreed to pay the homeowner. Now, the vast majority of these people think that they've sold their house, Cook said, and when in reality, this person is looking for a third party to buy it. Contracts like this often give a wholesaler the right to assign a transaction to a third party. Homeowners who think that they're saving money on a realtor commission later learn that the wholesaler is charging them an assignment fee of tens of thousands of dollars. And people who think they've sold their home will often find their home advertised for sale on Craigslist and other websites. Finally, Cook says, imagine you've got all of your stuff in a U-Haul or that all of your stuff's in a pot and you're ready to move and you've already packed up everything and that wholesaler backs out because guys, they couldn't actually find a buyer to buy the contract. Now let's talk about what states are actually acting to ban unlicensed real estate wholesalers. On January 1st, 2020, Illinois was the actual first state to pass legislation outlawing real estate wholesaling. In an Illinois Realtors Association publication, they said, in the past, both Illinois Realtors legal team and the National Association of Realtors have been vocal about the negative issues surrounding wholesaling. And that is because the practice encourages taking advantage of homeowners who are financially stressed while offering little to no advantage to those homeowners who choose to sell their property. Wholesalers walk away with money in their pockets and it's likely that the seller may not ever be aware that they did not get the best possible price for the sale of their home. As of November 1st, 2021, Oklahoma, a state where Maryland shares reciprocity, enacted Predatory Real Estate Wholesaler Prohibition Act. 
requiring real estate wholesalers to obtain a real estate license and abide by the Oklahoma laws designed to promote consumer protection and ethical practices. And in South Carolina in May of 2022, the Real Estate Commission published, the commission has interpreted that the advertising of real property belonging to another with the expectation of compensation falls under the statutory definition of a broker and requires a license and has directed that cease and desist orders be issued against those individuals to stop them from engaging in unlicensed practice. And now finally in Maryland, we're about to hear arguments in the House on February 7th as to the Maryland Real Estate Commission's ability to also require a real estate license to wholesale real estate. The bill reads, for the purpose of altering the definition of provide real estate brokerage services to include engaging in the business of real estate wholesaling to require an individual who engages in real estate wholesaling to be licensed as a real estate broker, an associate real estate broker, or a real estate salesperson. All right, guys, so here's where I need your help and where your opinions count. I would love to know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. What do you say about the idea of wholesalers needing to be licensed in your state? And let me know what state you're living in if you're comfortable doing so. All right, that's a wrap. So thanks so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, you can let me know that you did by smashing that like button. And as always, we appreciate it when you subscribe to our channel. If you haven't already done so, hit the alert bell. You'll know every time we upload content just like this. See you next time. Sachs Realty, Maryland broker number 607720, office number 443-318-4514, equal housing opportunity.